welcome back to Miss Crafts Lots Lair. I am Barbie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Beloit, Wisconsin. And today I'm here to show you this fun fold card. And hey, it's Fun Fold Friday. We have made it through another week. Yay! <laughs> so, just to get into this real fast here, I have a... Um, this particular card is using a Hostess set from the new annual catalog for 2020 to 2021. And that particular stamp set is Touched My Heart. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to have that stamp, that host set. So this is the one of the host sets in the uh, new catalog. And today we're using it to make the sympathy card. And for the inside of the card, as funny as it sounds, I'm actually going to be stamping the inside of the card, which is something you probably have never or hardly seen me do. I am getting into the heartfelt stamp set and getting uh, the from my heart to yours. I thought that was a fitting uh, sentiment to put on the inside of the um, of this particular card. So, real fast, I will get into how I made this card. Now, pre-cut already and pre-scored, I have a piece of um, crumb cake cardstock. I don't have it folded yet. I just have it scored. And then I also have a piece of Whisper White here. Uh, the card, the uh, card base, let me get back to that. Five and a half by eight and a half. That's my standard go-to card stock um, or card base. And then I have a piece of Whisper White here that is five and a quarter by six. And if you can see here, see if I can get it in camera here. There we go. I have it already scored at two and four. So it's two, four, and then it is six inches wide. And I will show you why I did that here. I've already cut the a piece of Whisper White in the circle dies. And that is the second biggest circle die in the pack. And then I have a piece of Whisper White here that is one and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inches. We're also using linen thread. And, of course, my snail, which is retiring. Sad. Very sad. But I'll get over it. Um, and I will get into showing you how to make this card. So, to start out with, I have a piece of um, a window cut out of the crumb cake. So, I took the, that same size circle as I used to cut out the circle this circle which like I said is the second circle which is the second biggest circle in the uh, layering circle dies get that put back in there and I will go on and so I actually use um, washi tape to hold down my dies while they're going through the cutting machine. So I kind of eyeball it. I wanted it a little bit higher because of the fact that I have my sentiment coming in here. So if you wanted to, and if I knew where I put it, oh, it's over here. Um, you can line up, uh, just kind of eyeball it from where you want the sentiment. Then I'm going to stick it down, run it through my, um, die cut machine and I will be right back. And there we have it. We have it all um, cut out here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold and burnish that particular um, fold. That's what I'm trying to look for. 
And then we have the uh, six inch by five and a quarter piece. And we're just going to sit here and we're going to burnish it in a Z. So that when all is said and done, it looks like this when you have it all folded up. And then I'm going to start stamping. Saying that we have um, have all of this nice stuff. I'm gonna bring out my brights. Stays on ink because I'm gonna be using my markers to color in pieces and bits and pieces of this. Um, so have my stays on out. I am going to put the sentiment from uh, Heartfelt stamp set. I'm going to put that kind of in the top part of the middle. I want to make sure that I get it inked up real good. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And I inked my finger, and now I am leaving ink in the marks. Doggone it. <laughs> this happens to me. And now I have uh, the two leaves that are on the same um, on the same block, just so that it makes it a little easier. Because I am going to stamp them on the bottom part here of the middle, and then the bottom part of the far left. And then the butterfly, because he is just adorable, and how can you say no to a butterfly? So I'm going to put him in the top part of the um, left-hand side, just above the leaves. And then this really pretty heart, I'm going to stamp in the middle of the, um, the circle. I was going to say heart again. Just like that. And then the final part to all of the stamping here is going to be the sentiment, the with sympathy. And I'm going to put that kind of off to the, um, off to the right. That is the <laughs> direction I'm thinking of. I'm going to put this off to the right on this. So then that way I can put my little heart, or not my heart, but my bow on there. Get everything closed up. And now I'm going to go on to my bright stamp and write markers. And I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green, the Melon Mambo, and the Gorgeous Grape to kind of color in here. The main part of this, I'm just coloring in the leaves for the heart. Um, I think it's more of a vine. If you wanted to color it in, you could. Um, I'm just not going to color it in today. so. But that's okay. Put some color in all these. Now if you want to use your blends to do this, um, of course, you would be using your Memento ink to um, to stamp with. Because opposites attract. I know I keep reminding you guys of this, but um, I have no idea who might be new to watching these and who might be new to stamping. So I'm going to just throw out reminders. I actually just need to do an, 
Stamping 101 Basics. <laughs> And I'm going to color this butterfly the other way. So I'm going to start off with the Melon Mambo. And color the outside of the wings. Oh yeah, I didn't even show you how this card opens up. Oh my goodness. Well, it's going to be, it's a little bit of a surprise for you. What are you doing, Barbie? <laughs> Why did you just make a zigzag out of the inside of your card? This is the problem with fun folds for me. I forget that they're fun folds, and so I don't show you the fold. Oops. So I'll go into this real fast. Bring out my... So this one is actually opening like this. So <laughs> that's why we're doing it the way we're doing it. And I folded it the wrong way. Or I stamped it the wrong way. See, I'm doing wonderful today. That's all right. Fold it the other way, burn it the other way. We're all good. It works. Oh, now I'm going to put this card together. So I'm going to start off by putting this on the inside because get it all in here and under control and save myself. <laughs> so I only put adhesive on this third of the card. So then that way, or the, the inside, and then I'm going to pretend like it's going all the way across and get it adhered in there as such. So there's the first part of the card. And I'm just going to ignore the fact that I have a smudge there because that makes me sad. <laughs> now for this particular circle, you're gonna wanna put the your adhesive on one half of the back because you don't want to stick it to this part. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in here. I have lint on my front of my card. And so you get that right on there and that way it opens up just like that. And then you can it's so fun. It's a fun fold. Why do we call it a fun fold? Because it's so fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and put the sentiment across the bottom here. I make it a little bit longer so I can trim off the excess. Just like that. And now for the bow. Let's see if I can tie a bow on, on camera tonight. So what I do when I make a bow is I make the loop. And then I make... the loop and pull it through like you would make um do your shoelaces if you do your shoelaces like this I guess and then I tighten it up and I kind of fuss with it and get it all nice and even and the way that I do this too is normally I can pull some more there we go um from there if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger as such and now I have the cutesy little bow and I just trim off and I'm not so the only piece that I'm wasting is this little teeny tiny strip because well I'm a little on the, the 
thrifty side and I don't like to throw away a lot. So I have my glue dots out and as you can tell how much I use my glue dots, I have the old packaging <laughs> for these glue dots. Oh wow. It's partially because of the fact that I've been using them from my um, paper pumpkin. I just glue dotted myself. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right on here, just like that, kind of fuss it around it where I want it to go. And there we are, a finished card. I hope you like this card. I'm kind of struggling right now as to how to end my videos because I have my new ending screen here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this project, please like, share, subscribe, and watch more. You can find links to my Stampin' Up! store, blog, dimensions, and the product list in the description below. Until next time...